Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Scout Prepper channel. Tonight a little survival kit that I've really started liking. I've had this for about six months and it's the Adventure Medical Kits SOL Origin. Now that's a crazy name. Adventure Medical, who's also known as AMK, does a lot of first aid kits and a lot of outdoor stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen me using it and you guys are using it as well. But they use the moniker SOL for Survive Outdoors Longer on several of their products. So it really isn't a good descriptor. This is really the origin, even though it's the AMK SOL origin. So it's a little pocket-sized survival kit that they've come up with. Now, I got this, and I thought, man, that would be great to have a super compact survival kit that's less than half a pound. This thing is 6.25 ounces. And to let you know, it's 6.87, I mean, I'm sorry, what am I saying? 3.875 across, so less than four inches. 2.75 deep and 1.5 thick so those are the dimensions and it's 6.25 ounces so I thought this would be great to fit in a pocket and use as a survival kit well I've come to realize after about six months with it and I've taken it on about seven hunts and four or five outings uh, it's not quite all it's cracked up to be but I do highly recommend this piece of equipment because if you had nothing else on you this would do the trick except for water and I'll go ahead and break the mystery it doesn't really have any provisions for water and that is important but this would work in a super ultra compact emergency situation I have come to put this instead of in my little pack this goes in the side pocket of my hunting pants which is you know the size of a BDU pocket so it fits in there it would fit in a shirt pocket and that way you at least have something on you and I think that's kind of how I've gone with this piece of equipment it's not necessarily the end-all greatest survival kit ever, but it's better than having nothing. As a matter of fact, it's pretty good, and it gives you most of the things you would need for at least, you know, a small task or a, uh, to get you started in a survival situation. Now, to give you a size comparison, this is a credit card size or a hotel key card is what this actually is. But put that up there. See, it's a little bigger than that. It's just a little bit wider and just a little bit... Uh, taller really it's like that I guess if you go to the edge and you can see over here it's still got the little edge off of there so just a little bigger than a credit card or hotel key card just to give you a size comparison and again one and a half inches thick so what is this little thing that's just something to prop that up so what is the survival kit well number one it has a lanyard out here it's a hard plastic box with stuff on the outside stuff on the inside to help you survive let's go through some of the features on the outside is number one an orange something that's visible two you can already see I, I know you guys saw the dot right there so you knew what this was this is a siding reflective mirror you can look through there you know how to do that I've left the film on mine so it doesn't get scratched I do recommend that until you need to use it leave this covered so it doesn't get scratched and it has directions right there so that's pretty cool it's a signal mirror on the other outside you have a button compass which comes out but it mine's real hard to do on the video they just show it coming right out mine not easy but it does come out it's a little bitty compass but remember with these I've already tested it it does work that is north right now but if you tilt it it gets off okay just like any of these so you have to remember when using it to try to keep it as flat as possible even put it on the ground if you can something like that to, you know maybe a flat rock but this does work. Is it the best compass? Compass? No. Is it easy to navigate with? Not as easy as, say, some of the, uh, you know, like your land navigation compasses or your flat base map compasses, where you can rotate the bevel, bezel, and see the degrees. But it is something that's going to show you some directions. Of course, really helpful at night if you're not having any. Uh, you don't know your stars. Maybe you can't see the stars, or maybe uh, you're trying to navigate through something that's uh, smoky or what have you, super cloudy and you can't tell where the sun is during the day, I don't know. Okay, also on the outside, you have a fire spark. And that's just what it sounds like, okay? It's got little rubber panels so you can hold on to them. And then it's literally just like a flint and steel wheel of a cigarette lighter. So, that's sparking. As you might imagine, this thing does handle, leave that out, this thing does handle fire capability. Okay, on the outside, but locked in with this little button, is a knife. Okay, 
it is a super tiny knife. I believe the blade is 1.5 inches. So a very small SOL knife. You've probably seen this because now they offer it by itself, which is kind of cool. So you could just buy the knife if you didn't want it. The neat thing about this is as most adventure medical stuff, it's not just a little bitty knife. It's also a whistle, as you see on the back. So now they've got another signal just like your uh, reflective mirror, and it has a little baby flashlight built in. It's up here. Okay, can you see it right there? So it's shining on whatever you're cutting. You know, if you're cutting something, it would be shining on that. Is it something to light your way down the trail? Of course not. Could it? Of course. So now you have a light, and you have a baby knife. Is this a knife that you're going to want to skin a deer or an elk with? Of course not. Could it? Of course. But again, in a survival situation, I think you probably have squirrel before you have deer. Who knows? So a little bit of knife, it's just an on and off right there. right there, And that doesn't have any other modes that I can tell. And uh, it, the knife seems pretty effective. Overall, this is just over three inches long, so you do still have a little bit of handle with it. And it's easy to open with the uh, little thumb stud, which is not ambidextrous. Not going to get too much into the knife because realistically it's not that great of a knife. But it's good enough to do the job. Again, this is survival gear. Okay, back on the front. I want to open this up. As you see, it does open up and bring it to one gripe. Besides, it has no water treatment. Something's wrong with my latch. And that kind of makes me mad. When you, if you just pop it like that, it'll open fine. If you lift it up, the latch just falls off. And that pisses me off. So it's just something hanky in the little uh, plastic latch here. And I know they probably made thousands of these, mass produced them, so not like they could have caught it during QC, but it still makes me mad. I wish that the latch lifted like it's supposed to instead of breaking off every time. You just have to be real careful with it on mine. Okay, inside, you've got a little bitty first aid survival book, 62 life-saving deals, and I've kind of read them all. They're pretty neat. I left it in there because most of the guys, I know you guys are going, man, that's kind of cheesy. That's BS. You don't need that. Okay, even if you don't need the training of what's in that manual, let me give you a little tip. It's something to do. It's something to read. If you're in a situation where all of a sudden you're down to this origin survival kit, things are bad. You've lost your main camp. You've lost your backpack that's with you probably. You've lost whatever you had else on you in EDC and you're down to this thing. So hey, it's something to do, something to read, keeps your mind off things, keeps you a little more positive. There's several things in here, but there's not much room for other things. I really think that if you could do it, get a little bitty Ziploc bag with three or four water purification pills, the iodine tablets, put them in there and put it in this. Now you don't have a water container either, but hopefully you have one on you, but that might help. Okay in here to go along with the fire capability that we saw from the striker right is some wet fire tender and i think this is what they they call their quick fire tender but it's basically wet fire four of those come in there so now with that and that you can start a fire if you put your mind to it also in the kit some fishing stuff now this is a baby fishing kit and i like what i see here it is monofilament line three yeah, three large safety pins, which can also be used multi-purpose, not just as a hook, but also to fasten torn garments, things like that. It's got some monofilament line, and it's got little swivel things in there. Now, one, strangely, one thing it doesn't have is little split-shot lead weights. They don't cost much. Grab them for 50 cents at Walmart, throw three or four in here, and you'd be a little more complete. I don't know why that didn't happen already. Okay. Some line right here. This is some baby, uh, they call it 12 pound test cord. It is uh, just some little line and you could use it even in your fishing situation. If you broke your monofilament, you could use this little thin cord or you could use it to tie a couple poles together, use it to lash some gear on. It's cord, you need it. Okay, making room. Also in here, a piece of foil. Okay, I forget how long they say it is. I think it's a foot by a foot. But it's a piece of foil, and it's actually pretty cheesy thin foil, so you could replace it if you wanted to. But what can we use this for? Of course, signaling and cooking. So you could form this into a cup, you know, form it into a little cup, put some water in there, and I assure you, it would boil. So you can make this a little drinking cup for purification if you had to, or again, hopefully you had some iodine tablets that you threw in here as well. Okay, the foil. Last but not least in here is also some wire. And what is this for? Well, they call it in the book snare wire on the advertisement for this. 
I have to tell you, you're going to have more luck catching a fish, probably, than you're going to have snaring game. Assuming there's water. If there's no water, you're not going to be catching a fish, I hope. But you've got this snare wire. It's not easy to trap animals. You normally have to wait quite a while to snare an animal. Just telling you now. I'm not trying to downplay this snare wire. It's very important. Of course, it can also be a tool. It can also lash poles together or what have you. You know, use it as a tool, just like the cord. But it's a, another piece of cordage or also snare wire. So that's it, guys. It's a lanyard, 3.875 by 2.5 by 1.5. It's not huge. There's not a lot of room for some extra stuff. But with some water purification tablets and a few split shots, you have a pretty complete system that has a light and a cutting device, signaling of a mirror right there, signaling of, I'll put this up so it shows in the video, signaling of a whistle. You have a compass for navigation that's basic. You have fire starting capability because you have a sparker and you have some quick fire tender. You have some fishing and trapping line, some multi-purpose cord, and signaling or cooking or watering foil. Eh, not bad. Now what's it cost? Well, that's the best thing about this. I like this kit and I got this kit because it's not a fortune. When I bought it, I think I gave $38 at Campmore for it. And that was six months ago. Now that they've kind of hit the market, I'm seeing them anywhere from 28 something plus shipping on eBay all the way up to 40 bucks. And that's kind of how they were when I bought it, about $40, but sometimes as little as 28 to $30. I think it's a great value and I think it's good to have on you in case something goes wrong. Of course, this is a system. All survival stuff is a system. So above this goes your EDC. Above that goes whatever pack you have for whatever, or you know, bag, purse, diaper bag, whatever, vehicle bag, your gun, anything you might believe in to have. And then above that goes even better preparations. But this is the beginning. My brother, who I hunt with all the time, is notorious for not taking any gear. I mean, this is the guy that goes into the woods with one arrow. You know, I mean, nothing. And he's been stranded out in the woods before. And he's an Eagle Scout like I am. So he never likes to have gear because it weighs him down. He's real mobile when he hunts. So this is something I'm getting for him too now that I've tested it. Because I like it and it would fit in his jacket or pants pocket. So even a minimalist can have something like this on their person or in their pack while they're out in the outdoors. Guys, as always, I really appreciate the views and I appreciate you watching. Keep it going. Scout Prepper Channel is growing off the Scout Tactical Network. Check us out on the web, scouttactical.com and on Facebook. Thanks.